Faith Njeru is a pediatric nurse working at the Human Milk Bank at the Pumwani Maternity Hospital. In the new unit, she narrates the process of donating to storing milk once an identified donor walks into this room. According to her, is that she would have to be a patient from Pumwani Hospital to be a registered donor and for the baby to be provided with the milk. Njeru explains that one has to have surplus milk to donate. For you to be a donor mother, you have to volunteer yourself. And out of your willingness, you become a donor mother. And at that point, you have surplus milk after you feed your baby. So their own babies are the first beneficiary of their own mother's milk. And after their mothers have fed their babies and they are satisfied, of which you usually evaluate those babies every day to make sure they are full and they are growing. At that time, we enroll these donor mothers. The facility has become a source of hope for newborn babies who unfortunately might have lost their mothers during birth, when they are unwell, or sometimes when the child is abandoned. When the mothers donate the milk, they go for a counseling session where they are enlightened more on why it is important for them to help. After the counseling, the mother is taken for screening to identify if the milk will be of help to the infants for their growth. Then we take them for another screening at the laboratory where we test four major tests. That is HIV, syphilis, VDRL, hepatitis B and C. Once we get the results from the laboratory and they are negative, then we enroll them to be now donor mothers. Where we give them donor IDs just for confidentiality. And then we take them now through the process of milk expression. They come in the unit, we have our place rooms where they express the milk. So after they feed their baby, they come, they express the milk. We get the milk, we store them in the storage containers, then we put them in the freezer. A sample of milk from the mother is then taken to the laboratory where it is tested to root if there is any microorganisms. If the breast milk is found negative, it is pasteurized. The process includes heating the milk to high temperatures of 62.5 degrees for 30 minutes. Once the process is over, we get a, a random bottle from that pasteurization run and take it again to the laboratory for post-pasteurization screening. Once we get the post-pasteurization screening from the laboratory, it is negative, then that milk is safe to be dispensed to the units according to the needs of babies. This is the first human milk bank in eastern central Africa aimed at decreasing the mortality rate of infants in Nairobi and its environs. What are the benefits? One, those babies who have not been getting the, their own mother's milk, I want to benefit from now because I want to get the donor human milk. But this one asks again to be given under prescription, a mother's consent. Let my baby to be fed on donor human milk. But again, at the end of it, the benefit is to the babies. The bank is a month old with 30 registered donors who are mothers in Pumwani Maternity Hospital. Twelve babies from the institution are direct beneficiaries of the program. We want to reduce the expenditure which we used to spend on buying formula feeds. Over 500 human milk banks have been established in more than 37 countries around the world, including South Africa, India, Canada, Japan and France. This is according to the World Health Organization. Dana Rose, Switch TV.